Hey guys, it's Tanika and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to be doing a full face testing out Kmart makeup. Look how much I have here. I went a little bit crazy. So this is a Kmart brand makeup line. Everything retails for around $10 and under, I'm pretty sure. And they have quite a big range. There's foundations, concealers, primers, all your face products. They've even got lashes and brushes. So if you want to see if this makeup is actually worth your time, then keep on watching. So starting out, I've got a setting spray, but it says it is a versatile setting spray that can prime, set, and refresh. It's actually quite cute packaging. I like the lid. Oh, that's a strong pump. It comes out quite... Mm. Smells nice though. Mm. Am I too bright? There we go. You can probably see me a bit better now. And then I picked up the Longwear Matte Foundation. This is in the shade N01 Porcelain. Now, it doesn't look that light in the bottle. And this is the lighter shade that they had available. The packaging of this one is actually really nice. It's a frosted glass bottle and it comes with a pump. I'm pretty sure it's like $6. So this says it's a medium coverage long wear formula and it has a matte finish and it will give you an all day natural glow. Okay. I also picked up one of their beauty sponges. It's actually quite cute. It's like a pink marble. This, it feels quite dense. This is the size, they're not wet yet compared to my beauty blender. So it is a lot bigger. I'm just gonna go wet it and hopefully it gets a bit softer. Okay, this is freaking huge. Look at that. <laughs> oh my God, okay. It's still quite dense, but we'll see how it goes. So this is the shade that is super dark for porcelain. So let me get out my mixer. So this here is just the Astralis Matchmaker Shade Adjusting Drops. All right, so I've got all of that on the back of my hand. Okay, let's test that out. Mm, a little bit lighter. Okay, I'm just gonna pop this all over my face. It's quite a thick formula and it doesn't smell bad. Like it just smells like makeup. It's not heavily fragranced or anything. All right, so I'm going to do one side of my face with a Kabuki brush, which is what I usually like to apply my foundation. And then I'll do the other side with the sponge to test that out. This actually has a really, really good coverage. <sighs> Damn. Okay. It's definitely still not quite the right shade. It may be oxidizing a bit. It has a nice finish though. It's not too matte. I do still look glowy. I'm a little bit patchy up here. All right, let's go in with the sponge on the other side. It's very, very dense. I feel like I'm beating my face with a rock. <laughs> okay, it's definitely not as full coverage with the sponge, but it's still leaving a really nice glow. Okay, so the shade is still a little bit off, but I'm really impressed with the finish of this foundation. I'll just give you a close up. So as you can see, it's done quite a good job at covering the redness. It is a little bit patchy around my nose. I need to put a little bit more on. This is the sponge side. You can kind of see that the coverage isn't as full as this side. I might go in with just a little bit more. So I'll take another, just one pump will do. All right, I might put quite a bit of the whitening. So I've got another pump of foundation and some of the whitening liquid. I'm just going to give that a good mix. Okay, that's a bit better. That's more my shade. <laughs> so fair. It's definitely oxidizing, like I am looking orange. Look at the color difference. <laughs> okay, let's put a little bit of, a little bit more of this on. And I'll just blend that out with the sponge, see if it builds well. Just gonna take that quite far down my neck as well, just to try and hide the fact that it doesn't match. Okay, coverage is really good, finish really good, and it doesn't feel too heavy on the skin. 
Next, I have a concealer, and this is also in the shade N01 Porcelain. Again, really nice packaging. It's super sleek. Let's see if the color... Yeah, <laughs> this ain't porcelain. So this is the swatch of the concealer. It says on the back that this liquid concealer provides medium to full coverage for blemishes and creates an even base for your makeup. An even base for your makeup. It's not a primer. I've never lightened a concealer before, but if I were to put this under my eyes, it's just going to be so dark. So I think what I'll do is I'll pop quite a bit onto the back of my hand here. I wasn't actually going to get a foundation and concealer because I thought that it would be too dark for me, but I really wanted to test out the formula, so yeah. Okay, then if I get my brush again, and I'm just going to take a little bit of that whitening liquid, and let's just pop that under the eye. And then I'll take my sponge and blend that out. That actually looks really nice. It's got good coverage, and it looks really glowy. So the foundation is drying down. It's definitely still a bit sticky, so it's not a super matte foundation. I definitely need to set it with powder. So speaking of powder, I actually have two here. The first one is the Loose Translucent Setting Powder, and this one says it's a silky soft finishing powder that blurs fine lines and imperfections to create a smooth, even complexion. And then the other powder is the Light Matte Finished Press Powder in the shade 01. And this actually looks really fair. Get a closer look at that. Like that is a fair powder. That's what I'm talking about. So this one says it's a medium coverage powder and it provides a smooth base for a natural radiant complexion. So what I'm going to do is use the translucent powder to set under my eyes and then I'll use the pressed powder to set the rest of my face. All right, so before I set, I'm just going to lightly go back under my eyes and just blend out any areas where the concealer has creased. And then with my sponge, I'm going to dip into my powder and pop that under the eyes. Oh, I didn't blend that concealer out enough. I have a lot of fine lines under my eyes, so if I don't make sure that concealer is blended, I crease. This under eye looks really nice though. Wow, and it looks really, really smooth. So you can see on this eye that there's a bit of creasing, but, it's a bit hurt. but this eye looks really nice. I might actually also use the translucent powder on my sponge to set my forehead. I'm going to wear this makeup all day and see how it goes. So I'll test both of the powders out on my face and see how well they keep my makeup in place. That has really made my forehead and my under eyes look super smooth. I'm impressed. Now for the pressed powder, I'm just going to use a nice fluffy brush and pat that into my skin to set my foundation. Okay, so now that I've applied the powder, it is nice and set, it's looking quite matte. I do feel like it's looking a little bit cakey though around my nose and my mouth. I probably went in with a bit too much foundation. <sighs> Moving on to the face, they did have a few bronzers, but they were really, really warm and I just thought they are not going to work for me. So instead I picked up this highlight palette in the shade Natural Glow. So as you can see, you've kind of got a fair shade for highlighting. This shade could be used as a blush and this one for a contour bronzer shade. Let's just give it a swatch. And I have a feeling it's gonna be shimmery because this is meant to be a glow palette. Oh yeah, it's definitely got a sheen to it. Okay, that's actually a really, really nice shade. I am loving the subtle sheen that it has. It just looks really, really healthy. 
This brush I'm using is the Zoeva 126. I didn't actually pick up any of the brushes from the range because I just didn't like the look of them. So I wasn't gonna waste my money, you know? Okay, that is beautiful. I'm impressed. Now I did pick up a single blush. This is 02 Apricot and it's a baked blush. I think firstly I might try out this one from the palette and then I'll go in with this one as well. This is what the blush from the palette looks like. Oh, hello. It's very, very faint. It's like a real baby pink. Okay, I don't know if that's gonna show up. Let's test it out. It looks a lot darker in the pan. Mm, it's kind of showing up. Yeah, I might just go in with the baked blush. This one looks really pretty. I'll give you a swatch of it. All of the powders do feel quite chalky and a bit dry to touch, but this one does have a nice sheen to it. So this should look pretty on the cheeks. I'm just gonna start off with a little bit. If you've got a lot of texture on your cheeks, I probably wouldn't recommend this blush because it does have quite a sheen to it. So that's really going to show your texture. You can see on my cheek here. Coming a bit closer. Yeah, see that there? It's really showing when it's not usually that bad. I'm just going to go in with the sponge and just blend around those edges. I always like to do this, especially if I go a little bit overboard. Just soften it out. And then I don't think they had individual highlighters because I was going to use this one from the palette. So yeah, it feels so dry. smooth on the skin you know it's actually quite a nice shade it does have a golden a golden sheen to it what I might do is put some on my brush and then spritz it with some spray okay I don't think that did anything I thought that was gonna make it more pigmented <laughs> maybe not let me go in with a smaller more dense highlighting brush and see if that makes it Show up a bit more. It is nice, it's just not very smooth. I feel like my skin looks quite rough and textured, you know? Okay, well that is the base done. I'm going to go in with the setting spray and just give myself a spritz. This smells really nice. Mm. All right, so here is a close-up of what my skin is looking like. Okay, for the brows, I picked up this Smudge Resistant Long Wear Auto Brow Pencil in the shade 01 Light. So one end here, it comes with a spoolie, and then the other end... Oh. And then this pencil is actually wind up. So... I don't know if that would actually stay sharp enough to do your brows, like over time, you know? But anyway, let's get into it. I'm going to start by brushing these babies out. They're so hairy at the moment. I really, really need a wax. <laughs> All right, I'm going to start by underlining the bottom. It's quite a creamy formula. It's working well. And then I like to extend the tail. Just fill in the front there. And then along the top, I like to draw a line here. Give myself a bit of an arch and then connect that to the tail. That was really, really easy to use. It's super creamy, so it glides on nicely. And I really like the shade. As I mentioned before I used it though, 
this has already turned like more round. It's not as pointy. So I feel like after a few uses, it would just go blunt and I'm not sure how you would use that. All right, onto the eyes. They actually have quite a few eyeshadow palettes. This one here is the Berry Collection. So there are 15 shades in total and you have a variety of mattes and shimmers. I'm quite nervous to use this because drugstore eyeshadows or cheap eyeshadows, can't stand them. All right, I'm going to dip back into that concealer and use this as my eyeshadow base. I'm not going to worry about lightening it. I'm going to use it to clean up my brows though. I think I'm going to take this peachy shade here and I'll run that all through my crease. And then I might use these burgundies. It's not very pigmented. This is the fourth time I've dipped into the shadow. I'll just try packing that on a bit and then blending it out. It's not patchy though, so that's a bonus. I'm also going to take that shade and run it under my lower lash line. It's gonna look like I've got pink eye for a while, but we'll fix that. I'm just going in with one of the berry shades and I'm going to, ooh, pack that on my lid. Okay, this shade has a lot of fallout. Okay. <laughs> the pigment is just disappearing. Like you can see that I wiped that on there and then Oh, oh, where'd you go? Let's just brush away some of this fallout. I'm going to try spritzing the brush with some spray. See if that makes the shadow more pigmented. Okay, that worked a bit better, but only in the direct spot that I put it. It didn't blend. Maybe I'll just pack that on like that. Stress, don't stress. <laughs> oh, <laughs> okay. I'm just going to go in with a smaller, fluffy brush, and using that same shade, I'm going to try and blend that crease out. See, this, this is why I don't like cheap eyeshadows. Okay, okay. Okay, that looks a bit better, but it's not shimmery at all. So that was with this shade here. For the other eye, I might use this shade. Just test it out, you know? So this is just dry, I haven't wet it. Did you see that? I hope my mirror wasn't covering that. I packed it on. Okay, cover. Now blend it out. It's gone. <laughs> this is worse than the shade I used on this eye. Look. Okay, I'm going to go back in with the same shade that I used for this eye. Let's give it a spritz. <laughs> I'm just going to try and pack this on and blend it out so it looks the same as the other eye because, look, I don't really see the point in trying because they're shit. Oh god, what have I done? <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> oh, it's because it was wet. Lucky it just blends away to nothing, hey. I actually have errands to run and want to do a wear test, so I do need to make this look somewhat wearable, you know? 
For underneath my lash line, I'm going to take this bronzy shade. And I'm going to run this nice and close under the lash line. It's just too pink at the moment. I look sick. It needs a bit of needs a bit of another color, you know. Is that doing anything? Okay, I don't think that's doing anything. I might just take a fluffier brush and you know, just pack it under there. Just to test out one more color, I'm going to go in with this shimmery purple. It's actually a really, really pretty shade. It's kind of like a bit of a sheer shade. It's very glittery. And I'm just going to pack that on or just put it in the center of my lid actually. Okay, it's not very pigmented, but it's working. Okay, that's pretty. Can you see it? <laughs> oh god, it looks so bad. I'm going to use a brush as well just to just to suss it out, you know. Okay, that actually worked better with the brush. It looks a little bit foiled. Okay, I was just going to put that in the center of the lid, but that ended up going all over my lid. I, uh, yeah, look. It, uh, I'll just show you. <laughs> oh, <clears throat> that's so bad. That is so bad. Okay, I'm just going to just close that one up and probably never touch it again. Moving on, hopefully finishing the rest of my eyes can save this look. <laughs> so next I'm going in with this eyeliner pen. It is smudge resistant long wear and it is in the shade black. This one is also a wind up eyeliner really sharp so I like that. I'm going to use this to tight line my eyes. Next I have this black volumizing mascara and it says create full bodied thick dark lashes with this volumizing mascara especially formulated to leave your lashes looking plump and flawless. So this is what the packaging looks like. It just has a standard mascara wand Okay, I didn't think I was going to like this mascara, but it has separated my lashes really beautifully. It has transferred a bit onto my lid, so I'll fix that in a sec. But even look at my bottom lashes. They look really nice. It hasn't like lengthened them or made them look really voluminous like it says. I'll put on another coat and see if that makes a difference. Okay, this eye has two coats of mascara and this eye just has one. It did make a bit more of a difference, but it's not anything amazing. I know, I actually like it though. I think it would be nice if you're just doing like a natural makeup look and you only wanted a little bit of mascara. I think this is perfect for that. Now, I also have some lashes to try. Their lashes actually look real nice. So these lashes here are in the style Nicola and these are more of a natural style. And then they have some faux mink glamour lashes and these ones are like, oh. so this style is Chloe. Look at those. And this style is called Katie. Oh, it even comes with eyelash glue. I'll test that out too. For today, I'm going to go in with the more natural ones. So let me just line them up to my eye again. They're quite short lashes. So I think they're just going to add a bit of volume, which is probably good because this mascara didn't do much for volume. I don't like these lashes. Like I feel like my natural lashes are longer. It just looks like a clump of black. Okay, I might ditch these ones. If you don't have very long lashes, they'll probably work for you. Okay, well I might try out one of the more dramatic pairs then. Oh my God, they look terrible. <laughs> okay, 
I'm just going to try and curl them up a bit more. Okay, I think I'm going to give the lashes a, a pass. They looked really good, but they're just... I might have to try them another time with some different glue. That glue is kind of stinging my eyes. Ooh, I was like, I don't know. It's letting off a fume and it, it hurts. Moving on to lips. First of all, I have the Longwear Lipstick in the shade 05 Gabriella. Now, I thought this was going to be a bit more nude. Oh, okay, it swatches a lot lighter than it looks. And then I also picked up this little lip kit. It's the High Shine Lip Gloss and Lip Liner. And this is in the shade Birthday Suit. Okay, so this is the gloss, the lip liner, and the lipstick. Hmm, I think I'm going to go in with the lip liner first. This is, okay, this one doesn't wind up. You have to sharpen it, but it's not wooden. I hate sharpening these kinds of lip pencils. I just find them so difficult. Okay, this is super creamy. It's gliding on well. And then I'm also going to use the lipstick. Okay, I really really like this color. This feels really comfortable on the lips. It's not matte, it's more of like a satin. And then I'm also just going to take a bit of the gloss. Now I think this is a bit darker. Let's just put a little bit in the center and see. Oh yeah, that's way darker. Okay, I feel like that gloss isn't really that glossy, like the lipstick had a bit of a sheen to it anyway. All right, let's set one last time with the spray. And this is the finished look using Kmart makeup. What do you think? Let's have a closer look and have a quick chat. So the foundation is still looking good. It's already breaking up on my nose though. See that? It's like come off. So far, my favorite thing was the bronzer shade. I really, really liked that. As for the rest of the makeup, I'm a little eh, unsure. I really don't want to wear this for the rest of the day, but I feel like I need to so I can give a proper review whether or not the foundation's good and like everything lasts, you know, things like that. So the time is currently 10.20. I will leave this on for a few hours, come back, give you an update, and we can go over all the products then, and I'll let you know what I think. All right, guys, so it has been about six hours since I applied my full face of makeup, and it's lasted all right. I'll zoom in closer, and we'll take a real good look. So I think first things first is you can see I'm looking a little bit oily. So just like on my nose here and on the sides I feel like some oils have come through. The foundation has broken up quite a bit on my chin and around my nose especially. This here. The eyeshadow. I thought it couldn't get any worse. <laughs> Look at this. It is like fully creased on both eyes. It looks terrible. <laughs> I had been eating so my lipsticks come off but that was expected. I think my mascara still looks nice and my cheek product it has faded a bit but I can still subtly see it. I'll just do a quick overview of all the products now starting with the foundation. If you aren't as fair as me I think this is actually quite a good pick. As I said I've had it on for about six hours. If you just wanted something for running errands things like that, I think this would be great because it does have really good coverage and a really nice finish. I think the concealer did a decent job at covering my under eyes and that's actually holding up quite well. So again, if you're not as fair as me, I'd recommend that one. Now the powders, I think the loose powder did a great job at smoothing everything out, but on my forehead, I've gone a little bit patchy up here. so. It isn't doing the best job at keeping my makeup in place. The pressed powder, on the other hand, has done a great job at keeping this portion of my makeup in place. Not so much my chin, so I will definitely keep testing this with my regular foundations. 
and I'll keep you updated in a future video. This little palette, I absolutely loved the color of the contour. I will keep using that one. As for the others, I just think they were a bit too dry and chalky, so I probably won't dip into those again. The blush was really nice. I'll definitely try that out a bit more. I think that the brow pencil, the eyeliner, and the mascara were all quite good. With the mascara though, if you're after something really lengthening and volumizing, I wouldn't recommend. But if you want something that's a little bit more natural, then I think this is a good one. Sorry about the lighting. It's the afternoon and the sun shines right in here, so... <laughs> This eyeshadow palette, I never want near my eyelids ever again. I don't even need to explain it. You saw how it applied. And then as for the lipsticks, I really liked this lipstick, a really nice color. The lip liner was good too. It's all come off now, but I did notice about an hour or so ago, it was still hanging around the edges of my lips. So long lasting. The gloss, I didn't put that much on, but it was a comfortable formula and it didn't feel really sticky. The sponge was all right, like it blended out the foundation nicely, but I just found it was a bit too hard on my face. I might give it one more go, but I don't think it'll be my favorite. And then as for these eyelashes, I really had high hopes. These small ones looked really nice, but they just looked terrible on. And as for the bigger ones, Oh, I just, oh, I really want them to work because they're beautiful, so I might give them another go. I'll see. Oh, and then there's the setting spray. This actually smells so good and it felt really refreshing on the skin. I don't know if it's helped this makeup stay in place or not. I will try it out with one of my regular foundations and then I'll be able to tell if it helps or not. I'll keep using some of this makeup and in my next chatty get ready with me, I will give you updates. So keep your eyes peeled for that if you want to hear more. All right, well, that is all for me. Thank you so much for watching. If you've tried any Kmart makeup, make sure you leave me a comment down below with your hits and misses. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're new here, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye.